Long before the start of the Meghan Markle and Catherine feud became a topic of international discourse, both parties were ready to claw each other's eyes out over courture, reveals a new report. In 2017, renowned London designer and fashion stylist Erda Morelioglu created a rift between the royal sisters-in-law. When Markle, the actress and fashion blogger engaged to Harry, suddenly discovered she was unaccepted at her favorite labels, reasons holding to the fact that Catherine had made arrangements to receive VIP access to Morelioglu's outfits, with support from Nicole Kidman, Naomi Watts, and Claire Foy. Following reports from The Telegraph, it was discovered the royal family had a fashion hierarchy in terms of the royals getting first dibs on designers. This helped explain one of Meghan's experiences getting tangled up in palace red tape, an incident which, according to the paper, was excluded from Harry's seismic new memoir, Spare. Markle's dismay knew no end when she discovered Catherine had gotten the first dibs on beloved British designer Erdem. Following its establishment in 2005, Moralio Glue's Erdem swiftly clinched its place as a statement brand for its romantic floral prints and elegantly understated sequined dresses. It is well known that Catherine has for a very long time been a fan of Erdem's fashion brand, famously wearing the designer's look on several royal engagements, including an off-the-shoulder midi dress with frayed edges along with a fluted skirt in 2018, and as an anchor designer while she was carrying Prince George and Princess Charlotte, accentuating her baby bump in figure-fitting floral dresses. On the other hand, Markle was also a fan of the designer, even before meeting and getting engaged to Harry as she was frequently spotted rocking her designs while working on Canada-filmed legal drama Suits. She was once spotted rocking the brand's Davina dress from the 2015 Fall Winter Collection when she made a stunning appearance on the Today Show in 2016 re-wearing the dress for a Christmas lunch engagement with the late queen around 2018, according to The Telegraph. Following Harry's account of the dress-fitting fallout between Meghan Markle and Catherine, which allegedly left the suit star sobbing on the floor, the wayward royal claims Catherine had started a passive argument via text message four days before his wedding to Markle in 2018. At the time, Catherine's daughter, Princess Charlotte, was set to act as a bridesmaid at the royal wedding. According to Harry, the message Catherine sent to Markle was a complaint about Charlotte's dress not fitting correctly. Charlotte's dress is too bogus, too long, too baggy. She cried when she tried it on a home. The Princess of Wales allegedly wrote to her soon-to-be sister-in-law. Harry further explains in his memoir that the dresses were French couture and had been handmade to meet specific measurements disregarding a fitting. The Duke of Sussex further stated that it wasn't much of a shock finding out the dress didn't fit perfectly. It is no doubt that Erdem Morelioglu was one of Meghan's absolute favorites, but Kate, who was already a client, continued to enjoy priority from the designer even after Meghan became engaged to Harry, the paper reported. Catherine was a longtime client of Erdem, famously wearing the designer's brand on several royal engagements. According to The Telegraph, it was reported that Markle stopped wearing Erdem's design in public for several years. The report spiraled on Harry's account, detailing the prickly relationship between Markle and Catherine in his new memoir, with fashion proving to be the prominent bone of contention between the duo. He vividly recounts the icy feud the pair had over Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress, not correctly fitting. The exchange text had reportedly left Markle sobbing on the floor. Markle has further enlightened the public on her struggles over picking what to wear as part of the royal family, also noting the stress lower-rung female members were made to go through so as not to match their seniors. Most of the time I was in the UK, I rarely wore color, she revealed in the Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you may not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care, and do tell us your views in the comments section.